I am Anil Kumar and I hope that you have understood the concepts of dividing, multiplying, adding and subtracting decimal numbers. So in this review exercise, I will now like you to copy these questions, pause the video, answer them and then look into my suggestions. Well, this is the quiz for you. So I would like you to take some time, answer them and then look into my suggestions. Now here are my suggestions. It's kind of a review of what we did in previous couple of videos. The first question is 11.3 take away 2.05. The strategy is align decimals, right? So we will do 11.3 take away 2.05. Now it is just 3. We can put 0 here, correct? Now if you want to take away, then follow the ordinary rules. We cannot take away 5 from 0, so we need to borrow. So it becomes 2 and that is 10. So 5 take away from 10 is 5 and then we have 2. And 11 take away 2 is 9, correct? Now let's do the next one, which is multiplying decimal numbers. So as I said, we just write these numbers without decimals first and then we multiply. Later, we'll bother about the decimal. So let's multiply without decimals first. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 6 is 24. Now 3 is 30, right? So put 0 here. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 6 is 18. Add them up. So we get 8, 10, 10, 11, 2, 1, 0, 8. Now we have to bother about the decimal. Strictly speaking, the numbers were 6.2 and 3.4. So there are two numbers after decimal, therefore in the solution also we should have two numbers after decimal. So 21.08 is the answer. So write this as 21.08. Now we got the answer, but this is a good idea to check. So let's round and check. We can say 6.2 can be written as 6 and 3.5, let's round it upwards so that we know the answer is kind of lower, right? 3.4 as 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. We do have an answer which is kind of same. Right? So that's the correct answer. The idea of doing this roundup is to understand whether the answer is in tens, hundreds or thousands. So we know it is like in tens. So that's fine. Right? Let's go to decimals. Now dividing means it's kind of similar process but the thing is when you divide by a decimal number, we avoid decimal for the divisor. 0.4, now we just want to make it 4. How can you make it 4? Multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So we really have this question translated to 520 divided by 4. Now it's a simple normal division which you can always do. So basically we are dividing 520 by 4 to get the result. So 4 goes 1 times, right? So we get 12. And 3 times is 12. We bring down 0 and write 0 here. So this is equals to 130, right? So that is how you should do it. Now these questions here are kind of tricky. 1 plus 2.3 times 0 0.5. Remember the rules. We need to first multiply, correct? And then add. So don't do the mistake. First multiply. And to multiply, follow this technique and then you add one right now this is kind of repetition of the same the only thing is you have to put decimal and then there should be at least there should be only or exactly three numbers after decimal it may be a good idea to write rewrite this question as 3.02 times 2.3 right so it may be faster and better correct so you can try both of them as you wish in this case, you are dividing by 0 0.02. The strategy is to avoid decimals in the divisor. So you have to multiply by 100. So it really becomes 830 divided by 2, correct? So that is how you should be doing this. I hope it is absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.